Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Ballmack here, back with another video. So today I'm about to show you guys how to create the Playmaking Shot Creator, one of the most common builds, but I'm gonna show you guys the best, actually with the best batch, the best type in this video. Now, before we start the video, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe. We're trying to get 300 subscribers, so make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe for more build videos, batch videos, and jump shot videos. And that being said, let's get right into the video. Now, Playmaker Shot Creator, one of the most common builds, probably the common build in 2K21. I mean, 2K20 was like offensive threat, but like in uh, 2K21, it's Playmaker Shot Creator. Now, basically, what Playmaker Shot Creator do is basically they playmake and they could also shoot at the same time. Now, to create this Playmaker Shot Creator, point guard, right hand, jersey number you could choose, and you're going to press continue. Now, for the skill breakdown, obviously, it's going to be the playmaking and the shooting picture right here. Now, as you can see from the stats, the shooting stat is pretty good. They have a good stat for shooting. Same, same with the playmaking. And as you guys can see, we don't need post move. We just need to focus on the ball handling and passing accuracy. Now, for defense, again, we do not need interior defense, but we need the permanent lateral quickness. It's going to start with the 75, but it's going to end at 74. So, if you get a 9.9, you're going to put that to a 79 perimeter defense and lateral quickness now for finishing this build is really not that good at finishing but also we have that 80 driving left to stay solid we're really not going to focus on the driving dunk close shot we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna kind of focus on it but mostly we're doing the playmaking and the shooting and then we're gonna go for some defensive stats now for the physical profile it's going to be the first pitcher yaga don't need to move it it's going to be the all speed pitcher and as you guys can see from the stats it's going to be 87 speed 86 acceleration, 64 vertical, and 46 strength. And again, for the Playmaker Shot Creator, we're not focusing on the strength. We mostly need the speed. Oh yeah, and also for the speed, it's going to finish at 89. When we finish the build, it's going to be at 89. And again, if you guys have Gym Rat, that's going to put it to a 93. Pretty good stats to have as a speed for a Playmaker Shot Creator. Now for the Playmaker Shot Creator, for the attribute, you're going to max out passing accuracy. Well, we're gonna start with the playmaking. Max out passing accuracy, max out ball handling. We do not need anything for the post move. That right there is gonna give you 21 playmaking bags. Now for the defense, max out perimeter defense, max out lateral defense, and also max out steel. And for the reboundings, max out defensive rebound and put offensive rebound to 40. That's gonna give you the most efficient way to get that seven defensive badge. Now moving to the finishing, max out close shot, max out driving layup, and max out driving dunk those are the three stats you actually need as a playmaking shot creator but also we're going to put standing dunk the most efficient way to get that three uh finishing that right there's going to be 41 just put the standing dunk to 41 and then for the shooting max out mid-range max out three-pointer and then put the rest to the free throw now in total it's going to give you three finishing 20 shooting 21 playmaking and seven defensive badge now body shape i'll mostly put a burly now for the height, put it to 6'4". Now putting it to 6'4", it's going to decrease minus 2 from the ball handling, but it's also going to increase um, plus 1 for the close shot, plus 1 for the driving dunk. We don't really need a standing dunk, but it's also going to uh, increase plus 6. Now for the weight, put the weight to the lowest. And as you guys can see, it's going to decrease from post move and decrease from interior defense. Those stats you do not need as a playmaker shot creator, but at the same time, the speed is going to put it to it. 89 acceleration is going to be an 88 strength we don't we don't really matter and right here for the speed i told you guys if you guys have gym rat that's going, that's going to put it to a 93 now for the wingspan if you max it out it's going to hurt your shooting but it's going to increase your uh, finishing but you got to put it to the lowest putting it to the lowest wingspan is going to give you plus four three-pointer plus four mid-range that's going to put it to a 91 three-pointer and 94 mid-range so if you guys are 99.9 .9 overall you will put mid-range to a 99 and also, three pointer is going to be a 96. Also, it's going to give you ball handling plus one. It's going to put it to an 86. So that means if you guys are 99.9 .9 overall, you're going to put that to a 91. Now, defense, it's going to decrease minus one from premium and lateral quickness. It doesn't really matter. If you guys are 99.9 .9 overall, you're going to put it to a 79. Still solid. Now, for the takeover, you guys have four options for the takeover the spot up takeover. The shot create takeover, the playmaking takeover, and the slashing takeover. Now, the best takeover to have as a playmaker shot creator is the spot up takeover. Now, you could have the playmaker takeover, but the spot up takeover is actually good because you guys are going to have 91 three pointer and 94 mid range. And if you guys are 99.9 .9 overall, you're going to be having 99 mid range and 96 three pointer. So, the best takeover to have is the spot up takeover. 
And right here we have built the Playmaking Shot Creator. If you guys have any suggestion for the height, for the weight, for the attribute, takeovers and stuff, put it down in the comment section below. Also for the badge, I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm gonna show you guys the best badge for the Playmaking Shot Creator. And if you guys have any suggestion for that too, put it down in the comment section below. I'm gonna see it. Now for the finishing, you guys can put contact on gold. That's the first option. The other option could be you could put contact on silver and put consistent on bronze. Now for the last option, take uh, consistent off, put contact on bronze and put lob city on silver for the rep and stuff. Now for the shooting badge, put green machine hall of fame, flexible hall of fame, difficult shot hall of fame, catch and shoot put on silver, corner split should put on silver, dead eye hall of fame. Again, this is the first option. The other option could be you could take you could take difficult shot off, catch and shoot you could put it off, corner splash you could put it off, and put range hall of fame tireless silver and volume silver. Now for the last option, you could take volume off and put hot zone hunter on silver. Now for the playmaking, put quick first step hall of fame, space creator hall of fame, unpluggable hall of fame. Tight handles put it on gold, handle for a day's hall of fame, and lob city passer put it on silver. Now this is the first option. The other option could be you could take lob city passer off, tight handles put it on silver, put anchor breaker on gold if you guys feel saucy and stuff. Now the last option could be tight uh, handles put it off, anchor breaker put it off, put diamond hall of fame, and floor general put it on bronze. Now for the defense, put clamps on gold, intimidator put it on gold and rim put it on bronze. Now this is the first option. The other option could be take rim off, put intimidator silver, put clam silver, and you could also put pogo stick, or also you could actually put pickpocket on gold. This is it for the playmaking shot creator build. If you guys enjoyed this video or this video helps you guys out, or you want me to do more of this video, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe. Again, I'm telling you 300 subscribers, so make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe. Yeah, I'm out.